Inflation, high interest rates, and student debt making it exceptionally hard for Gen Z to achieve the American dream, with more than one-third saying their parents did not set a good financial example for them. So now they're looking elsewhere, many turning to social media influencers for advice on how to get rich, but not all that glitters is gold, as many are finding out the hard way. Joining us now is Liberty University student Christian Hodges, Christian along Hodges. with high school senior Carolyn Joyous. Thank you both for joining us. Dagan, Charlie, Of course, good you. evening. Thank you for having us on. So, Christian, uh, can you t tell me what are some of the most common misconceptions if you're scrolling through social media that you run into about, uh, uh, like the misnomers uh, that you run into about, uh, about how to strike it rich? Well, I think everyone would tell you to go buy a credit card um, because a credit card mm. will help you uh, build your, your credit, right? Uh, but as Gordon Ramsay says, and he lives by, uh, if, you, if you can't afford it, don't buy it. I think that's really what Gen Z needs to stick to. The basic principle of what Proverbs tells us in Scripture is that the borrower is the slave to the lender. Um, and I think if we live by that, the basic philosophies, if we go back to the original text, the original documents of the Bible, of Scripture, I will stay away from the, the not experts on social media. Uh, Caroline, are you, where are you in getting your finances straight and making mistakes? Are you educating even your parents, or is it the reverse? Because I've seen it happen. Well, my parents, yes, ma'am. Well, my parents are both small business owners. They've been very good about just teaching me right. about finances since I was very young. But I have to say, you know, when I look at Gen Z as a whole, I don't see the same thing happening with their parents. Even talking to some of my friends, I don't see them taking nearly as much interest in finance or setting long-term goals. Uh, as a whole, I see that Gen Z, we are a generation that prioritizes image over substance. Hmm. We prioritize our you know, short-term satisfaction over long-term fulfillment and long-term goals, such as having a family, you know, creating a beautiful, wonderful life and fulfilling our American dream. And honestly, if we don't take initiative, if we don't start to educate ourselves, which I see that as a whole we're not doing, then... I mean, it, it makes sense to see it. You know, we look at where Gen Z is right now. This all It all makes sense when we look back to, okay, our generation's not willing to educate themselves. That's the problem. And I definitely see that among my peers, for sure. Well, you all both sound very wise beyond your years, but uh, I want to ask both of you, starting with you, Caroline, first, real quickly, um, what, are your, uh, what are the conversations you hear among your friends about Joe Biden and the economy right now? Oh, I was hoping you were going to ask this question, sir. I got to say, you know, I look at social media and I, I see all the filthy liberal garbage that's being shoved in my face <laughs> on a daily basis, all this woke propaganda from TikTok and Instagram reels. But then I actually talk to my peers and they can't afford gas money. They can't afford groceries and they're getting fed up. Even some of my friends who have kind of leaned more liberal in the past are starting to wake up to reality. And they're like, hey, maybe I don't love Donald Trump's personality, but his policies, man, they really had a good effect on my wallet. I was able to keep a lot more money in my back pocket. I was able to afford gas. So, you know, I gotta say, I think my generation is absolutely fed up with the left and we're absolutely fed up with Joe Biden. Christian, you got five seconds. I think Caroline is completely right there. And there's one basic question we have to ask. Was your life better off four years ago under Donald Trump or now? Do you have more money under the Trump tax cuts that are expiring in 2025 or do you not? I think sure. it's a simple question and a simple answer that results in voting for Donald Trump in 2024. I think it's safe Howdy. to say you both have a very bright future. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I'm glad you're, you're part of the generation. Thank you both, Christian, Caroline.